Hey there good people, my name is Scott, and you are watching Sword and Shield Studio. Right now we are going to learn the basics of how to create your own custom transitions in DaVinci Resolve 17 and save them for later. In addition, I'll show you how you can save these as a dot setting file so others can install them too. Right, so let's get right into it. Okay, so I am on the edit page in Resolve now where I have two clips on my timeline that I want to transition between. So the first thing you have to do to create a custom transition is drag one of the presets from the effects library at the top left of Resolve here. And under Toolbox Video Transitions, just drag any one of these presets onto your edit point where you want to create the custom transition. It doesn't matter which one you choose because it's fully modifiable unless you want to use one of these as a jumping off point then choose the one that is most similar to the effect that you're going for. In my case, I'm just going to drag the cross dissolve transition onto the edit point, then right click the transition and hit convert to fusion cross dissolve from the drop down menu. Then I'll right click it again and hit open in fusion page. This will open the transition in the fusion page and give you the entire node tree, which shows all of the inner workings of the animation. Next, you can modify this transition however you'd like. You can either make a completely new transition from scratch or modify what's already there in a specific way if you want. I'm just going to double click the cross dissolve group left click the dissolve node and change it from a regular dissolve to a random noise dissolve just for the sake of this tutorial when you are done modifying your transition go back to the edit page and right click the transition that you modified and hit create transition preset from the drop down menu and you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it Random Noise Dissolve and hit Enter or OK to save it. And this will add, if you have not created a custom transition before, this will add a new user section in your video transitions in the effects library where you'll see we have the random noise dissolve there that we just saved. And just to show that this works, I can delete the transition I have on the timeline, drag this over and it will work just like any other preset in Resolve. If you want to save out your transition as a dot setting file to pass along to other people to install, it is relatively straightforward. Right click the transition on the edit page and hit open in fusion page from the drop down menu. Next, if yours is not already grouped together like mine is, hold left click and box select all of your nodes between the media in nodes and the media out node and hit control G on your keyboard to group them. And then right click that group, making sure it's the only node selected on your node tree and go to settings from the drop down menu and hit save as. This will pop up a prompt in your OS to save the file. You can save this wherever you like. I'm going to rename it to random noise dissolve and hit enter to save. Now in order to install the transition or test it out, copy the dot setting file to one of the directories I posted in the video description, depending on your operating system. The transition should show up in the effects library along with the other video transitions if you installed it properly. And you should be able to pass this dot setting file on to anyone else you want to give it to. Well, that does it for this tutorial. You know, this is one of the nicest new features in DaVinci Resolve 17, this ability to create and share your own custom transitions. In the past, you might have had to have created an adjustment clip with an additional video track in order to get similar functionality. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing to the channel where I upload a video just like this one every week. In addition, Sword and Shield Studio goes live on YouTube every Sunday night. 
where I'll be working on something in Fusion, and I'll be able to answer any questions you have regarding the channel, DaVinci Resolve, or any general video questions you might have. So be on the lookout for that. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.